Now to the investigation into the Titan submersible implosion. As ABC's Rena Roy reports, the U.S. Coast Guard is now convening a Marine Board of Investigation to look into what went wrong. As the families of the five who were killed try to process their grief, many now questioning if this could have been prevented. The Coast Guard launching an investigation looking into the cause of this tragedy. For the first time since the deep sea tragedy that killed her son and husband, Christine Dawood speaking out in an interview with the BBC. The sentence, we lost calm. I think that would be a sentence I would never want to hear in my life again. Shazada Dawood and his 19-year-old son, Suleiman, were among the five who were killed when the Titan submersible imploded in the Atlantic Ocean last week during a mission to observe the Titanic shipwreck. This comes as the U.S. Coast Guard convenes a Marine Board of Investigation trying to determine exactly what happened. The MBI can make recommendations to the proper authorities to pursue civil or criminal sanctions as necessary. New images show the robotic vehicle Odysseus 6K that initially discovered the debris field 1,600 feet from the Titanic, over two miles below the surface. Submersible expert Carl Stanley says after he went on an experimental dive in the Bahamas in 2019 in the sub, he exchanged emails with the late OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush expressing serious concerns. Rush was also on board the Titan when it imploded. I had very serious concerns. His entire system was not dialed in enough to the point where he should be offering trips to the public. In one email, Stanley saying cracking noises sounded like a flaw defect in one area being acted on by the tremendous pressures and being crushed, damaged. In that email exchange, Rush emphasized his dedication to safety, saying I canceled last year's expedition and will cancel this year's or even shut down the company before I will operate an unsafe sub. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. Now, to give you more perspective of this implosion, we spoke to Hawaii Pacific University assistant professor Olivia Nigro, who spent time on the Alvin submersible last summer. She was part of a three-person crew that helped certify Alvin's maximum depth, depth to 6,500 meters, or 20,000 feet, off the coast of Puerto Rico. Back in 1986, Robert Ballard used the Alvin to explore the Titanic wreckage. We asked her to explain what happened to the passengers when they submerged submersible imploded. One thing that we do on the ships is we take little styrofoam cups and, and send them down to the bottom and they shrink because styrofoam has a lot of air in it and at depth all of that air compresses out. So if you were at a shallow enough depth then the effect would just be compression of all those air spaces but at the depths that they were at on that sub it was just completely catastrophic. Um, you know I think just complete total like devastation. Of well, despite what happened to the Titan, Nigro says that she would not hesitate going on the Alvin again and hopes that this tragedy will not put a shadow on future exploration of the ocean.